Peter Kondopoulos is the owner and head agent of the PC Gutter Talent Agency. He is joined by two of his stock buyers, Mark Stacy White and Teresa Design. We are pleased to have them here on Viewfinder. Welcome, everybody. Well, you're excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My only chance to play a mobile. Peter Kondopoulos, Tracy Design, Mark Stacy White. Welcome to Viewfinder. Thanks for having me. Yes. You're a resident stock. You got stuff in the stores right now. I do. I, yeah, I, I went out and bought the Ivy Park store. And I saw George Clooney three weeks ago, my friend. There you go. And you were in Ives. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Now, where are you from originally? I grew up in a mobile home community in Hamilton, Ohio. No, there it is. Get out of here. That's absolutely correct. Now, now, when did the acting bug first bite you? Uh, uh probably around. Eight, nine. I did stand-up comedy for about eight years. Fantastic. And, uh, Here or, or somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a regional type thing. Right, right, right. Um, me, um, my guys, there was a bunch of people. And it was a troupe called Showcase Comedy, and we go everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of fun, and I uh, got burnt out on it, mm -hmm. sort of. I realized that uh, it was it just wasn't really that funny. <laughs> I mean, when I came down to it, I freaking forgot laughing at me. <laughs> How do you go from a trailer park in Hamilton, Ohio, to being on the set with the most powerful and uh, most popular movie star on the planet, George Clooney? Well, it's all in my book. Right, 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 right. 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 so, um, no, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's Everything is by chance. Mm -hmm. And what you said about having an agent, mm -hmm. you have to trust your agent. Right. I met Peter uh, one day. It was actually a Sunday. I work in auto parts, mm. and I was closing the store. Yeah. I was closing it. I'm ready to go home. Yeah. And it's cold, it's snowing, and I hear, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm like, what? Oh, is that my accent? <laughs> you know, your accent taking yeah, a longer time. Right. Well, well, like, <laughs> um, and I go, yeah, my, my, my son's, I'll spare you the accent. My, yeah. my young son's in the, in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, he's five years old or something. My car won't start. You know, can you jump me? And I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'll open the store. So I open the store up and I get a battery. He buys a battery. Oh man, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. I just work next door and I'm like, uh huh, yep, yep. Uh, I want to go home. <laughs> so he said, like, yeah, thank you. I mean, wasn't there. impressed. And so finally, it wasn't enough to, to just sell him a battery for his car. I had to install it as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm out there doing this, and he's like, oh, I really appreciate it, Mike. And blah blah blah. I work next door. And I'm like, what do you do next door? And he's like, oh, I run an agency over there. And I'm like, uh huh. What kind of agency? <laughs> a talent agency. I'm like, really? <laughs> Interesting. So that's that was the chance meeting with him. You never know what's going to happen or, or what. You asked me how I ended up from mm -hmm. point A to point You're B. You're a good Samaritan, and you, it paid off. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. And now he calls me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Which is good because when I went to audition for Eyes, um, which was in January of last year, uh, I had to get a date. And lo and behold, I said, okay, I'm going to read for this guy. And he's like, nah. No, don't worry about FaceTime. Don't worry about how many lines there are and how many scenes. Just read with what's comfortable. And he said, you got to read for the sound guy. I was like, okay. So I had a couple of little props with me. I went in there and did it in one take. And I thought, hmm, can I do it again? <laughs> and uh, it was Gary McGurk who was uh, directing it with me. Yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, that, was, that was good. That was good. So we need to do another one. Nope, that was great. Okay. Wow. See ya. When I got the call from, from Peter, he calls up, and, and it's classic Peter. It's, uh, hey, mate. Hey, how you doing? Good much. <laughs> what, you, what you doing right now? I'm like, uh, I don't know. You know, the battery, whatever. <laughs> it's just, I'm working on my other agent's cars. I mean, I'm trying to work here. And then he's like, oh, I just, uh, I'm going to let you know. I just, uh, heard, uh, it says here they want, uh, Mark Stacey White in the film. I'm like, really? And he had he told me really, 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 really. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I thought it was someone else, you know, making a joke, or he's making a joke, he's going, oh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, you got a Tide commercial or something, right. you know, sorry. <laughs> so, you know, it was... And I used to... I used to... I love Tide. Love Tide. Love Tide. Love Tide. Love tide. Yeah. <laughs> I smell of Tide. We're going on. We're going on. But, uh, yeah, I got the call, and then I just, uh, you know, let out a big old yell, and right. I was upstairs in my house, and... Uh, Away from kids, and I'm like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> so that was that was it. So I was I was happy, and I told him, you know, months before, I said, you know what? I really need a feature film. Yeah. I really need a feature film. I'm 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 feeling it. I'm feeling it here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, I got it. 
Now, what, what keeps you both in Cincinnati? Because I know you probably hear all the time, you tell people what you do, you say, I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I use the term, you know, across the board, because an actor is one who acts. Some people say actor. I refer to everybody as an actor, whether they're male or female. I, I know, I'm insulted. Perfect, right. Yeah. You know, it's that old James Lipton thing. Yes. Everybody's an actor again. I'm quite insulted. <laughs> <laughs> but what keeps you in Cincinnati? When everybody looks at you and says, why are you here instead of New York or L.A. or Chicago? Why here? Skyline Chile, is it? <laughs> well, that's not it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Um, uh, I stay because one of the, uh, an actor I got a chance to work with a couple times, a uh, Hollywood actor, is uh, Mark McCauley, mm -hmm. from Burn Notice. Mm -hmm. been in 120 films, mm -hmm. I mean just unbelievable, mm -hmm. a great guy, great actor, mm -hmm. and he lives in Hollywood, Florida, mm -hmm. and he'll go wherever the work's at, mm -hmm. and he gets more work living there than he did you know, out in L.A., so, mm -hmm. so I, I kind of think about that, and also the fact that, you know, my whole family's here, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's kind of a nice place to raise a family, and I really don't want to, you know, mm -hmm. move and meet new people, and, and, you know, trust the people that watch my kids, and mm -hmm. all that stuff, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just, you know, that's a that's a big, tough thing, you yeah. know, if I, if I would have moved when I thought I was going to when I was 17, I'd probably be dead. <laughs> Now, you have offices here, Dayton, Columbus, and you're about to open one in Nashville. Correct. And I noticed that you do a lot of casting for a lot of West Coast productions. Like, you do a lot of casting for Army Wives, right? Right. They're out of North Carolina. Okay. Okay. And we just landed another deal with the uh, military, too, so it would be good. Excellent. Yeah, so that... Um, we like, you know, we have a pool of talent that we represent, and they're scattered throughout. Mm -hmm. Um and there's certain there are people that we represent in Los Angeles that used to live in this mm. vicinity and have moved out of there to try their luck, and some mm. were quite successful. But we represent them here in the Midwest, and mm -hmm. because Who's the guy that was in um, Basic Instinct with uh, Kurt Bolt? Michael Douglas, no, he, oh um, Barry Pepe, is is that yeah yeah I mean Barry, I mean uh, yeah yeah I mean a name I mean. When I walked into your office and saw his picture, I'm like, oh, 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 oh Daniel Von Bargain. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's an actor. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, and yeah, he's semi-retired from what I understand, right? Yeah, yeah retired. He's retired. But I've seen him come out and do indies and stuff. He has, but yeah. not for quite a while. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, I think he has uh, some medical issues and stuff. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. But, but, but it's, uh, it's amazing the broad variety of talent that's in this area. Yeah, I mean, it is. Again, there's a lot of people that have moved into, like Gary McGurk, mm -hmm. McGurk would be one of them, uh, Daniel Von Bargen, mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of other, I just signed a couple of other people uh, today, two, two both from New York, mm -hmm. that just came into this area. But let's talk about you two, the actor's lifestyle, and how you deal with no. Because if you're an actor, you've got to get used to two words, I always say, no and next. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with no and next in the middle of a monologue? Or when you think you really nailed an audition and then there's nothing. You don't hear anything but crickets afterwards. Like we were talking before, uh, it, when you go into an audition, you don't have that job. Right. So, what's the worst thing they can say? Because right now it's already a no. I mean, it's just normal yeah. sales. Okay. You know, you're right. selling auto parts or you're selling, you know, stereos or something. Same thing, you know. It's already no. So, say it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right. really? Sure. Right. So I just go into it as, you know, you're going to do your best, the absolute best you can. And I always tell young actors, I always tell anybody in this industry, that a million no's don't change your life. Never be afraid of no, because they don't change your life. It only takes one yes to change your life. So take all the no's all day. So what? They don't change anything about your life. But that one yes, it's worth it to get to that one yes. Listen, I, I want to thank you guys for coming and sharing a little bit of this magic and for giving people hopes and dreams. That's what you've done here today. You have no idea how many people are sitting at home now saying, really, this is possible right here in the tri-state? And I want to thank you guys for coming on. Thanks. 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 Excellent. Thanks. Excellent. Thanks. I look forward to your next film you're getting ready to do with. Uh, Mark McCauley, Tommy Dishman, and uh, Matt Paul Camp, the reception group, coming out here very, very shortly. Fantastic. Now, Shakespeare said that all of the world is a stage, and we are but its players. Here's hoping you follow your dreams and take your rightful place within the viewfinder. Cut. <laughs>